Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another day of Medieval Dynasty. Looks like it's snowing outside. Now, we had a bad storm last night apparently. And uh, it damaged some of our buildings. So we'll need to get the hammer out and see which of those buildings have been damaged. Where are we? Repair. Okay, it looks like the well. The kitchen. Got a bit of damage there. Uh, workshop. Got a bit of a hole in the roof. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I would say the woodcutters has got a bit of damage as well. So, what do we need to repair? Straw for all of those. Uh, we're going to need a bit of a few sticks there. Okay, so we'll just nip into the green room <laughs> and. Pretty sure we should have some straw in here. We certainly got sticks. Let's just um, oh, let's not skimp. One hundred. We don't have any. Uh, of course, the straw is probably in the barn, so we'll get some more. Maybe fifty. And then what we don't use, we can put in the barn. Probably uh, speed this bit up. <laughs> 50 it is. But it shouldn't take long to repair anyway. Hope my hammer lasts. It's okay. To the well. Well, at least it wasn't a lot of damage by the look of it. Well, that appears to be it. I'll just double check, make sure the houses aren't gone. I think it did say four buildings, so one, two, three, four. So we've done four. Now, today, an interesting day today. Something a little bit different. I want to plan out my village a bit better. I've been having a look since the last video and I don't think houses down here are the way to go. Maybe a couple, possibly. But the majority of our buildings are down here as far as, you know, where people have to work. So, what I'm thinking of doing, I don't know if I'll get time to do it today, is to put a pathway down here or road get rid of these trees around that way keep on coming down get rid of these trees that tree possibly this tree and then put three houses 
up along this way. And then, bearing in mind we've still got the, um, the sewing hut, the extraction um, building can probably go over here somewhere. I'm not going to put a house here because I don't know if it matters, but what a shocking view having a, you know, a building that side and a building this side. So I'm going to start the houses about here. So at least they've got a, again, not that they would know, but I think, let's pretend, shall we? Anyway, I don't know if I'll get round to that today, particularly how quickly the days go. But what I would like to get round to is building some fences and gates. Now, of course, because I'm the king of my country, king of the valley, or my part of it, I'm going to do my house first. Now, the only problem is, is I don't know how far out it'll let me build a fence close to the water's edge. Now, I probably don't need to come out a long way, but I'll need to put a gate here for when I run from this direction. But I also head out this way a lot, and I don't want to be, you know, coming out through the main gate. So I think I'm going to have a side gate as well. So I can just zoom out and not worry about things. So that's the plan. Um, so if we look at gates to start with, we haven't unlocked any yet. And I don't have enough technology for a wooden gate. I do for a stick gate. And if we look, there's stick gate and then there's a wattle gate. 200 to unlock, 300 to unlock. If I go into our um, technology, I think it's under, we can see that a stick gate requires seven sticks. Surprise, surprise. But if we go to a wattle gate, it needs 10 sticks. So it's a few more sticks, but I think that's what we're going to go with. The wattle gate, and the same thing with the wattle fence, it needs 12 sticks. But the stick fence only uses five. So, yes, we're going to use a lot more sticks, but I think it will look a bit nicer. Uh, and then when we advance to wooden fences, we can possibly, depending on what they look like, destroy these ones and just get more. Hopefully everything will be thriving then. We'll have a, a bustling little village, particularly once we get some people in here. Um, so that's the plan. So gates, what'll gate, R to unlock it. And of course, like everything, it costs a fair bit. But now, for the other buildings it's pretty easy because I put them so they're all north-south but this building of course I got it on an angle so what I'm trying to do here is to line up with the building which is just off of north and I'm going to see if it will let me put the gate Oop, there no not there Okay, that looks like about as close as I'm going to be able to put it. So we'll put the gate there. And I'm going to build that now, rather than try to put the fence up, because I want to be able to try and line it up. So I'll bring out the hammer. And get our gate built. Now the cool thing about gates... I don't know if you realised it, but you can just walk through them and they will open. So, pretty cool. So, now, we'll get the um, fence up. So, fences, bottle fence, buy it for even more money. Looks like we're going to have to... Um, 
make a few knives to <laughs> replace our, our funds here. Now, this one, I think I can only just line it up by eye and hopefully it'll be, uh, be there, more or less. So that looks like about the closest I can put it. Come out this way. Now, I want to put a table and stuff in my front garden eventually. Actually, maybe going from there wasn't such a good idea. Let me cancel that. Because the distance we come out from the house is going to depend on how far we can go out on this side because of the water, like I said. So we'll try that again this time from here. That looks good. Hmm. Is that far enough for a... Bearing in mind I'm the king, you know. That should be enough. I should be able to put a table in there later and all sorts of lovely things. So let's get the fence up. I'm not fast forwarding this one because, I don't know, it's new, new to me, might be new to you as you're watching. Maybe after we've done a few, it will be a fast forward. this works out properly that was I it's gonna be a bit bad um, right so to get it at the right angle we'll sorry fence gate we need to line up where we are there with the front of the house I mean this isn't going to be perfectly accurate but hopefully it will be reasonably accurate so we're just that one off to um, to the northeast, just slightly. So if we can get that, hmm, it's going to be a bit more awkward than I thought, really, because I can't bring it out too far. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll do it, but we won't build this one. We'll do the fence out, line it up, line it up there, come out this way. Now I'm a bit conscious about the gate, so I don't know how we're going to fit that right in. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, that's not right, is it? <laughs> okay, so that's too not quite right there. We want probably the gate to go about where that red marker is. I know what I'm going to do. Pick up stone. <laughs> this is how to mark things in a dodgy fashion. Don't even know if this will work, but let's try it. Inventory, go to the stone and drop it. It's not too bad. <laughs> I reckon. Okay, so just on the right hand side. Let's go to the other side. So I'm going to destroy the fence, or this part of it. 
don't ask me if this is going to work. No, that's not what I want. I want right click. Destroy. Then. Hmm. Let's get the gate out. Uh, that direction. There. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. I didn't realise that noise was my. I thought it was defence being destroyed, but of course it was my hammer breaking. And I bet you I do not have a log. No, I don't. Right. Best laid plans of mice and men. Give me a log, please. And also let me a hammer. Let's have a quick look again. I'm not convinced I've got enough sticks. Probably haven't. Let's take the lot. I'm sure knee rod, knee rod will make some more. And I'm getting thirsty and hungry. fence isn't quite right so destructo time put it there come around to here and what now it doesn't want to do it One thing, it chews through the sticks pretty rapidly. <laughs> right, so I got that, got this. I might need another, another um, stone. Actually, I'm going to need another two stones. Line this fence up. Hmm. Gonna be a bit hit and miss. So if I drop this, no, I'll take a half a step back. Drop just one. No, nah, that's gone too far. Should have been a full step back. So around about there, no, around about there. And then this way, that's not bad. Okay, so we can use this as a guide. Fence, wattle fence. Sort of there, but back a bit. Walk 
backwards to there and I'm thirsty not bad. Will we have enough sticks? <laughs> and there I was thinking I was doing the end one. Right. The end is near. Um, I'm going to keep animals in there, to be quite honest. <laughs> Look, there's my front garden. Very stately. Bench over here, bathtub over here. I don't know, something over there, lights. couple of solar panels. Oh, actually, wrong game. What? Oh, that's right. You can place things, can't you? Very good. No, I just want to grab it. Thank you. Should I put a path? Should I do a path to my front gate? I haven't done one, so why shouldn't I? What the heck? I'm gonna... If it will let me, it should. Uh, that angle... Okay, so you can't go through the fence, you can go to the fence. Fair enough. Haha! <laughs> I don't know, little things amuse. What is it? Small things are mine, small minds? Uh, minds? Are minds? <laughs> you You'll have to excuse me, it's a bit late here. I don't even know what the time would be. Everything's whited out. Oh my goodness, really? 7, how about 7? Well, if that's the case... <laughs> we're definitely not getting anything else done in this video. If I'd have known that, I would have speeded up more. But... Live and learn, but we can chase around from one to the other. What did that do? Oh, no, I did. I quite like that. That's a good little touch, I think, again, by the developers for letting that. Well, I think it's not bad at all. Just go have a look over here. Have you got enough front yard to give Nyrod one? Yes, I have. Won't do it now, of course. I probably won't do it tomorrow either. Um, I'm going to... What I'd like to do, I'll just show you quickly as a bit of a preview. Is when we... When I do put this roadway in here 
down here and chop these trees down. I'm not going to actually construct the houses now um, because we'll end up having to pay tax on them. But I think that if you just put the foundation down, it doesn't count as actually being a house. So the framework. So I'm going to use that as a uh, means of spacing it out, seeing what it looks like. So I'm hoping to fit three houses along there, which would give us a, a total of five houses, well, not including mine, but five houses, which means then we're not reliant on just hiring, um, like you can only put a female with a male in a house, so we can actually mix it up a bit and um, at least hire five people uh, and if we need to be build more well so be it the trouble with pairing up people in this game is that well trouble with not pairing them up is i suppose if they die there's no one to carry on but as soon as the woman has a child um she stops working which can be a bit of a problem because it sort of happens suddenly um particularly if you're relying on a you know different types of production i presume that's still the case uh, i'm talking really before the final release um, when it used to be like that so anyway tomorrow will be um a bit of an a bit of planning today was all about the gate All very good well thanks a lot for watching hope it wasn't too boring for you I must get a torch actually I must have a torch surely it just isn't equipped torch torch yes it is thank goodness for that that's better. Well, as I was saying, thanks a lot for watching. Um, that's about it. <laughs> Good night, John Boy.